Let's go. Media Talk. Go. Joining Rob and I for this second, we have Rita Hatab, who is solo, and we love it. Yes. Thank you. It'll give you more time to talk. We haven't seen you, you since last share. year about this That's time. Right. That's right. The last time I was here, we were talking about All That Glitters, our annual fundraiser. Well, it's that time it's again. It's here again. Let's talk about All you know, That Glitters. It's hard to believe that love it's been to. a year. It, it feels like a week. It feels like you were here <laughs> last too. week talking about it. It's got to slow down. When does it slow down? When does life slow down? Uh, it doesn't. I don't it think doesn't. it ever does. It gets We'd faster. We'd be sad if it did. Uh, yeah. Maybe when you're 30, like our director's birthday. Oh, yeah. It was slow. my Compton's birthday. His yesterday, 30th birthday yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's when it slowed down. I got a, when, uh, well, I'm, I got a couple years before my 30th birthday. <laughs> Let's but talk about anyway. All That Glitters. Okay. Okay. Um, all That Glitters has a little bit of a different approach this year. And I was just listening to um, the creative of loafing person, David Warner, David, yeah. talking about giving the best restaurant award to Plagia. To Plagia. Yeah. Well, their chef is one of our key people this wow. year. Yeah. We've moved our venue. We're up at the Pepin Hospitality Center, and they've got a fantastic show kitchen built wow. right in into the ballroom. And Fabrizio wow. from Plagia. He's been on our show before. I saw him. I saw him. Well, he's coming, and he'll be doing an interactive cooking demonstration for our VIP guests wow. who arrive at 6 o'clock. So you people know. can go in there and throw and some stuff learn, around and, and chop yeah, some and onions. Cook and cook and eat ooh. and have a wonderful time. What Rita, we, we want to hear. Can I have a conversation oh, so, with well, her for a second? We want to hear all about all that glitters, but who does this benefit? Why should people get ah. And then tell us about the event when everybody's going to be there. Sorry, you can pick it right out. No, you can pick it right out. You called go me with, fat uh, earlier. Well, Come on. Sorry. It benefits McDonald Training Center. And as you know, McDonald Training Center is one of Tampa's treasures. It is. Uh, not associated with the Golden Arches no. in any way, shape, or form. McDonald Training Center, as you know, was started in 1953 by a group of visionaries in Tampa. It was created and spearheaded by a man named J. Clifford McDonald. When they I pointed the name. I don't think anybody imagined what sure. McDonald's would mean 50 years later. Right. But to those of us who know, we know that it's been a really important part of the Tampa scene since 53. Right. We serve adults with disabilities. It started out as a preschool way back in 55. If you can well, imagine. I don't, I don't know the history so and much, I guess. That's at the point when parents who had children with disabilities were instructed send them away. T the doctors would take them at the moment of birth and moms would never see their babies again. And many of the people who are in uh, this, who obtained the services from our center started their lives in institutions. And we're happy to say that most of them now live in their own apartments, live productive and very meaningful lives. Well, and it goes fast for them, just like for yeah, us. It's you know? empowering people empowering to adults live with the lives as they choose, yes. not how an institution would choose Here, this, or a this, group this, this, home this. would Go, choose. Yeah. This is, it, it's as, almost as liberal as you or I, given the criteria that these guys have other challenges greater than ours. Yeah, man, yeah. cool. And it's a great thing because you put them into society and you teach them things of how to get along, how to make their food, and how, and how to earn money to live. And how to, to live. And, how to live. and you know, everybody and likes to go home at the end of the week with a paycheck. Sure. And after, after the model of adults with disabilities going off to institutions, after that model finished, it was group homes and sheltered workshops. Well, McDonald Training Center is the first in the state of the Florida to say, no more group homes. These guys can make it on their mm -hmm. own with a little bit of help from their friends. And I got to tell you, a little the the Sun Pass. The Sun. If pass. it wasn't for McDonald's yeah. Trading Center, I or you, do you even we, have your Sun Pass anymore? No, I let, let it go. We wouldn't have our Sun Pass. So. Well, yes. that's another thing. Our CEO is a visionary. He saw the state cutbacks coming, and he gave the command to go out and get some real work for our real yeah. people. And we bid for and got the contract to package the SunPass transponder. It was done, if you can believe it, by a company in Virginia. But Which we is wonderful. Nobody, it was no pity partnership. No. We had to go out and prove that we could do it same as anybody else and they're doing it. We now have two full-time assembly lines going, and people are going home at the end of the week with real solid paychecks. Yeah. 
And the interesting thing is that we've had this contract for a year now, and the people who started are no longer with McDonald Training Center, because they went out with their real resumes and now have legitimate jobs in the community. That's fantastic. That's, that's our mission. And there are also, you know, a lot of the things, you, while the success, there's a lot of success in giving them the opportunity to be able to live their lives, go out, get gainful employment, become part of the community, have their own homes and stuff. There's also a lot of dedication for teaching them some other wonderful stuff and keeping them involved in art and Arts. different things oh, yeah. throughout. I mean, Absolutely. what incredible art. I mean, you look at the walls and stuff you have hanging up there. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, none of us anticipated what we would find because the people who came to the center were not interested in day service programs with right. arts and crafts. They were coming to work. And we started a fine arts program about three years ago now, and we have found such talent. When you allow people to actually express themselves, you don't sell, tell them it has to be this way or has to be that way. And again, these were people who weren't given the opportunities that you or I were. Nobody was taking them to museums. Nobody was showing them the, the different things that exist out there. Yeah. But, but we, we have, and it's been fabulous. And even though everything's going so well, we still need help. So this event oh, that you're Lord, coming yes. up, give us a 411. There's, there's, there's an auction that, and there's... But we still need help. What did you Absolutely. say? Give us the 411. Oh, my God. It's good. It's not a pity partnership. Sure. It's a, a, an event that will help an organization that helps good people in yeah. our own hometown. Yep. Um, the event is going to be fantastic. It's at the Pepin Center next Saturday, September 27th from 6 to 10 p.m. 6 p.m. is for the VIPs with Fabrizio, the premier chef for all the Renaissance hotels worldwide. We have a feeling we're going to be seeing him in other places someday, right you know? I mean, he's just Big. so fabulous. And then Jessica from the NoHo Bistro will also be giving cooking demonstrations. Michael of Let Them Ke Eat Cake, who's oh, a yeah. sure. he'll be... I mean, we're, we're going to have a chalk fill night. We'll have the Holy Cats, the swing band. We'll have a variety of different entertainers. Uh, we'll How have do a people, beer garden outside. How do people get tickets? Ah, um, they can go to our website, question, which is macdonaldcenter.org. Not Mick. Mac, M-A-C-D-O-N-A-L-D, center.org, or localwineevents.com uh, local also is selling tickets right. for us. And they can get their ticket online there, they can pay for them there, and then just show up next Absolutely. Do it a will call or something. Absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much oh, for coming on the show and letting us know about you. your event. It sounds like a blast, and it I hope it be. works out. Thank are you. Are you expecting a big turnout? I mean, how has it yeah. been so far? Well, uh, our ticket expectation is blowing us away Wonderful. this year. Wonderful. So really? We're really Your expectations very... are reality. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Even Good. better. Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you very Thank much you for coming. Thank you very down. much. I appreciate Thank it. You. We are going to take our next break, and as soon as you and I return, we'll be chatting with uh, Sarah Richter and Noah Rollins. Cool. Thank you, guys. Media Talk is presented by Tampa Digital Studios, but it's sponsored by the Creative Loafing. We'll see you right back here in <laughs> 60 seconds. <laughs> 